India Victor Delta. Yeah, that uh, screwdriver antenna be a good uh, antenna and get that long stinger on it. Well, I heard a break out there, Todd, so let's pick them up. That break out there, go ahead. WA4UDK. Yeah, WA4UDK and the group Whiskey Alpha 2 India Victor Delta. How copy? Yeah, we'll say hello to you, Tony, and hello to Todd. Name here is Tom, Tango Oscar Mike. We're located in Kansas, just southwest of Kansas City. And I am calling you on my brand new IC705 running a whopping 10 watts. And I was uh, just wondering if you'd be able to hear me, and it sounds like you're hearing me okay. Well, as you can see, I have a new rig. That was my first contact with the 705. I was pretty pleased to get a 5.8 report from Tony. He was located about 440 miles away from me in Tennessee. Of course, I've skipped right past the unboxing and initial setup, so let's swing back and take a look at that. Well, I am pretty excited. I have been waiting for this radio for a while. And I've actually had the box for a little while, but I've had a few things I had to get done first. So this is the initial unboxing. Really looking forward to playing with this radio and learning about all of the features. Let's see what it's got. So, of course, our warranty registration card. And let's see, we have the basic manual, the manual basico in Spanish. And we have the notice de base in French. I think I pronounced that right. And the basic manual in English. So we have the manuals in three languages. Just the basic manual. They still do not include the advanced manual in print. And I was doing a little bit of looking online, and they've departed from the way they were doing the manuals before. We'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, so here's a stereo plug. They always include plugs for each of the jacks in the radio, a couple of spare fuses. I believe this is a bracket to hold the microphone cord as a strain relief. And this is like some sort of a stick-on rubber or Velcro piece. We'll find out about that, I'm sure, soon. This looks like the 12-volt power cord. It's got a plug, I believe, that matches the radio and just bare ends on it. And, of course, the microphone which has a mini plug and a 1 8 inch plug. We'll set those aside. Let's see. And the battery, this is the BP272. So this is 1880 milliamp hours and I believe they have a larger one now. I've been doing a little bit of looking online. We'll get some more cardboard out of the way. And then here is the radio. Complete with some extra instructions to lift out the main dial side first. Okay. So. There it is. Man, I can't believe how small it is. For what it does, or at least from what everything I've been reading about what it does. So there's the battery connector, antenna connector, speaker mic, micro SD card, grounding screw, antenna connection, and what do we have on this side? This is the 13.8 volts in, micro USB, key, Tuner, aha, uh -huh. we have a tuner connector. That means that a tuner may be available. And a send ALC, which would be for an amplifier. So, 
it does not have a traditional uh, accessory jack like its bigger brothers does so you won't be able to get all of the things out of it but it looks like it's got at least the the major ones and of course with the micro USB you can connect it up to a computer and get most everything you need alright we will let's get the glare out of the camera for you a little bit there We'll set the screen protector aside so there it is I'm very anxious to learn about this this may be another A to Z video coming although I do have to catch up some on the 7100 and let's set that down let's just make sure that I haven't missed anything else in here cardboard 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 I guess that is everything so let's get this out of the way so let's just review so of course it comes you know it doesn't have a little tilt up uh, bale or anything I'm actually a little surprised by that all right we got the microphone the radio we have the battery pack with no belt clip because probably would be a little cumbersome to clip this radio on your belt uh, a blank plug I believe the mic strain relief and a sticky for something the power cord and the manual so that's it uh, and the warranty registration that's everything in the box so Let's take a look at what this thing can do. I mentioned that ICOM has changed the manual format for the manuals. The basic manual is pretty similar to other recent radios. It has pictures and descriptions of the buttons, connectors, and the various elements that appear on the screen. It also describes basic operation of the radio, as you would expect. What they have changed is the advanced manual. For previous radios, like the IC7100 and the IC7300, the advanced or full manual included everything in the basic manual plus all the advanced operation instructions. So long as you had a copy of the advanced manual with you, you had everything you needed to find out about any particular function in the radio. With the 705, the advanced manual no longer includes the information from the basic manual. It only includes what ICOM deems advanced operations. So if you want to look up how to use some feature, you have to have both manuals with you, and you need to search through both manuals to figure out which one has the information you need. I don't really think this is an improvement over the previous format. Hopefully, ICOM will come out with a complete or full manual for the 705 that includes everything. This radio really is remarkable for its size. It's amazing the stuff that they've packed into this. I mean, it has HF plus 6 meters plus 2 meters plus 440. It has built-in GPS, built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Bluetooth, and built-in D-Star. So this radio really does just about everything. Well, okay, it doesn't quite do everything, but it does quite a bit. Well, there you have it. There is a lot to learn about this radio. Much of how it operates seems to be nearly identical to the IC7300, at least for the features that they have in common. Although just in the short time I've played with it, I have learned that they've made a few improvements to the user interface for some of the same functions. I'm thinking this may be another good candidate for an A to Z series. I just need to make more time for playing with radios and recording video. I will at least be doing a few more videos on updating the firmware and the initial setup for the radio. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a click on that like button. If you're enjoying the channel, please consider subscribing. 
You can also click on the little bell icon to get notified when new videos come out. And there is also a companion website for the channel at a to z.tech. You'll find a link to that in the video description. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.